as far as money goes. You're gonna have to balance it, you know? What are the costs? What are the, you know, what are the benefits? And you're Ms. Clemens weighing. is a wonderful teacher and she's very creative. She's teaching us about vocabulary and thinking skills and I think she's just a very swell teacher. She's truly more of, the, of a facilitator and that's what I want uh, from all of my teachers, not just the teacher of the gifted student. She sets the pace, gives them the lesson, and watches them fly. So when you're in there, you're not watching her, you're watching them. And the excitement comes from them being hands-on and engaged. Um, she's very, like, hyperactive. She likes, like, talking a lot, like she talks to us. And she sometimes speaks to us in like a different language. Fair mate, That means close your mouth in French. You know, a lot of times you have to expose students to the curriculum that they're interested in. I think she provides them high interest materials, which also keeps them highly engaged. And that really goes over well with the children. When you get to work together with your friends and she helps you figure it out and you learn is what makes it fun. Sometimes she'll um, read stories out of a book and it has missing parts. We have to try to f fill it in. She had a competition where they had to come up with a word that she didn't understand the definition to and they would come to her with the word and to try to stump her. And then I finally had one student that thought of a word that she, they were able to stomp on that she didn't know the definition to, and he was, came back to the room so excited. So it just gets them thinking out of the box. These are kids that soar a little higher than the average student, and she's able to bring creativity and innovation to them, which is a real plus for our school. We take chicken bones and we make dinosaurs out of chicken bones and we write a story on our dinosaurs. Every kid in second grade loves dinosaurs, so she brings in their interests, she ties it back to a lesson. We're gonna put them on a piece of paper and you just, she's gonna hot glue them on for us once we get them laid out the way we want it, and then we have to write a story about it. It's called A Dinosaur Named After Me. She does a lot of um, group projects. To, so that they can work together and learn social skills and it's very important that students learn to work together because they're going to be doing that in their future and the kids that she has or create and those are going to be our future leaders and that are going to be directing different groups and designing programs and projects. I learned teamwork and friendship because you have to work well with other people and you, have, and you have to learn how to be friends with other people too. It helps us become social and she allows us to work together so we learn more vocabulary skills. We do projects of the solar system. We stuff the sun and color the outside of it. Next Monday, we're gonna make the planets around to um, help us learn how the um, planets rotate around the sun how cold and how hot it is. She's very enthusiastic. She's very motivated about what she's doing. Mrs. Clemens takes on education wholeheartedly. I have really and truly never seen a teacher get so excited about the lesson. If she's made them excited about the lesson, by the time I come in and ask them questions, they're in the moment with the descriptions. They are fully engaged, happy, proud of the outcome of their work and eager to share it with someone else. She makes it fun and interesting. It's the favorite parts. We love her. She's, you know, positive, willing to help. I mean, everybody just thinks very highly of her. She just, it's like, awesome. Hi, Miss Clemens. I think you did a great job teaching. You're, you're a good teacher, and I think you've won, you deserve that award. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kim. You are so deserving of this reward. And on behalf of Biloxi School District, congratulations. Please continue to do great things for children at our school and wherever it is you may venture on after this. Thanks. 
Thank you, Ms. Coleman, for teaching us about all the stuff that we need to learn about this year and last year and all the other years. Ms. Clements, on behalf of your co-workers at Jeff Davis Elementary and your students here, I would like to congratulate you on receiving the Alan Barton Award. Thanks for all that you do. Thank you for being the best teacher, one of the best teachers in the world that I have ever had. Ms. Clemens, you've got moxie. Ms. Clemens, thank you for making me who I am today. I love you.